iMovie is a great place to start editing your videos, but do you wish that they looked a little bit prettier and you had a little more leeway on the options in iMovie when it comes to text? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create custom text in iMovie to make your videos stand out and look branded to the rest of your brand. Hi, I'm Trina, if you are new here, and on this channel, I help creative entrepreneurs just like you figure out how to use YouTube in your business strategy. Now, if you wanna use YouTube, you want some pretty editing, right? You don't want it to take a lot of time, but you want your editing to stand out and look professional. And even more important, you want it to reflect your brand, so that means that pretty cursive font or that pretty color. But iMovie is kind of tricky getting these types of fonts and colors. So I'm gonna show you a quick little run around here on how you can get your custom font and colors in iMovie by using Canva. So let's jump on my computer and I'll show you quickly how you can do this. Once you do it once, you can just copy that same image for every single video. So you have a quick little template so your text on your videos can now stand out like the rest of your brand. So what I like to use is Canva to do this. Um, it's a great tool. You can do social media graphics and stuff here as well. Um, if you do have an account, you can go into your brand and you can customize this color palette to all of your colors for your brand. You just add the plus and the color hex code so that it's already logged in. And you can have your fonts here as well. So you can upload a new font and have all of your branded font in here to make your YouTube videos really branded for you. So from there, I'm gonna to go to create a design and I like to go ahead and use the YouTube dimensions they already have. So if you go down here to social media, you will see the YouTube thumbnail, go ahead and click that. Now let's say you just wanna have call out text that covers the entire screen. You can go into the element here, do a shape and let's just do a solid color. And I think I wanna make this the lighter pink that I have and then you can just line it up and drag this over so it covers all of that white box. And let's add some text and I'm gonna use my branded font. So we're gonna say step one, add thumbnail. So then what you wanna do is download it. Just download it as a PNG. Then you can pull up your editing software, whether that's iMovie or Final Cut Pro. And what you'll wanna do is go into Import. And I saved it to my desktop because it's easier to find. I'm gonna do step one, was the title of it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab it, pop it in here. And now you can see what I'm talking. My new branded text comes up and it looks a lot better than the font that um, iMovie or Final Cut Pro has for you. Now let's say I want this look, but I don't want the background in there. I wanna make uh, just the text stand out. So what you can do is go back into Canva, go ahead and delete that solid background, and I'm gonna go ahead and change this color to the bright pink so it stands out. Now, if you just want the text to show up, you're gonna need the Canva business account for this. So when you download it, you wanna make sure you're clicking transparent background, okay? And then hit download. Then when you add it into iMovie, it's going to be a transparent background. So let's delete this. You'll import it again, and this is what it will look like now. If you wanna to continue to learn how to use YouTube strategically in your business, make sure you watch that video that's on your screen right now. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for brand new tips and strategies on YouTube every Monday and Wednesday. Thanks for watching, bye.